Hello YouTube, and this time I'd like to do a video blog. So I figured I would talk about that vegan teacher and how I met her on TikTok and how it all started. So when I first joined TikTok, basically, I was just doing regular content. Now this was May 26th, it was my first video I believe, that's when I joined. And basically, my videos, I was struggling on really gaining followers. They were regular videos, but I was trying to join trendy stuff. I uh, I was trying all sorts of stuff, trying to you know get views. It was very difficult. But eventually, I met that vegan teacher. Now, when I first met her, she had 10,000 or less followers. She wasn't really big at all. And when I first learned about her, I learned that her dog was vegan. And that she was trying to force veganism upon people. And I felt, this isn't right. And I even made some comments about how I felt about things. Little did I know that this was going to become the highlight of my life, making videos on that vegan teacher. Little did I know that I was even going to send videos to YouTube. And I really wasn't planning on it. I was just planning on growing my platform so people can check out my YouTube videos and see the content I did on there. Because at the time, I was doing mostly gaming videos and stuff. And I was doing some Yandere Simulator videos. That's a content I used to make before I got into what I did. Now, when that vegan teacher had joined, she joined before I did. She joined as an animal rights activist for the sole purpose to push veganism upon others. But what happened was she was a highly likable channel at the time by a lot of vegans. A lot of vegans respected her. And basically, it was going to be a tough one. Because as soon as I commented in her comment section, I was attacked by a lot of vegans. And they even went to my video and attacked me. So I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But at the same time, I was like, if I'm getting this kind of attention, why would I stop? Because I also got a little bit of followers out of it. So I started making videos. I'm like, well, I'll just go ahead and make videos on her then. And... um so when I started making videos, I noticed I was getting even more followers. And I'm like, all right. You know, I'm like, hey, this is working. I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere on TikTok. And basically, I was getting followers at the same time. So I was getting support. Now people were actually leaving me comments. And I used to never get comments until I started making those kind of videos. I would get one or two, maybe on a rare video. But most of my videos, nobody ever commented. I was kind of like a dead channel with just getting a little bit of likes. So basically, they um, they came to me and were supporting me. So I'm like, wow. I'm like, people are actually supporting me. So it came to when I made that video on that vegan teacher where she made the video to respond to someone that said that their cousin had died from trying to go on her diet that she gave them. Basically... It was that video that really blew up, and I started getting thousands of followers. That's when I first started picking up. And basically what happened was, that vegan teacher started to grow too. So the problem was, she was getting a lot more followers than me. I was growing, but she was growing way more than me. But basically, it was after I made that video... Where vegans started turning against her and they were coming to my side. Like vegans were actually apologizing to me for attacking me in the past. They were saying how sorry they were. So a lot of the vegans came to my side. And then I was getting support not only from omnivores but from vegans too. And during that time I came up with the idea of that meat eating teacher. Now at that time when I had created the name other people started making identical names. But only I didn't change my username. It's just the name that I came up with. But then people were taking the name and similar names. Which I didn't mind. As I've said before. As long as people know that I'm the actual that meat eating teacher. I didn't care if they made usernames of that on TikTok. And it's not like I would have been able to change my username anyways. Because everybody already knew me as xzodiac85x. But I did end up using... That meat eating teacher for my merch and my series though. And basically after that, I started continuing with the videos. So 
that vegan teacher eventually brought her videos to YouTube. And at that point, when I seen her run to YouTube, I'm like, oh no, they need to know the truth. So I brought the videos and I put them on YouTube because she was putting hers on YouTube from TikTok. So I brought my TikTok videos and put them on. And basically after my first compilation, things started to blow up on my channel. I ended up getting over a thousand subscribers in a day. So I ended up getting monetized in a short time. I ended up getting so many people supporting me and so many people wanted me to continue the series, so I did. So many people loved what I was doing. I couldn't stop at that point because people were happy. They were cheering me on and it was it was so exciting to have that many people helping, helping to support, helping to cheer you on, to motivate you. So I continued. I continued to make videos. And at that point, I told myself, I will fight against veganism. I will be known as that meat-eating teacher. And that's just what I did. And as soon as I got my merch, I ended up naming it that meat-eating teacher. And that basically was the start of my career. Which in the past, I had no idea that's what it was going to lead up to. But eventually, I knew exactly what the people wanted. They wanted more debating and debunking videos. They were cheering me on. They were supporting me. They just, they wanted to motivate me. And they wanted to keep me going. And basically, from that point on, I've been doing a lot of debating and debunking videos. All based on veganism. And eventually I got into memes where I would do point of view, I'm that vegan teacher. And started making memes out of it. I even made an alien series, which so far I only have one season out of it. My vegan teacher is an alien. <laughs> and maybe somewhere in the future I will make a second season. But I had so much fun doing what I'm doing. So it's not just debating and debunking. It's also the memes and the good stories. But at the time though, she was gaining a lot more followers. So her channel was rapidly growing. And at a really fast pace. And eventually she did end up passing my YouTube channel and subscribers. For a little bit. And then I ended up getting a lot more subscribers in. And then I completely passed her channel and subscribers. But now it's coming back to the point to where she's slowly easing up. And she'll probably end up passing my subscribers once again. So guys, we got to be strong and keep pushing. We got to gain more subscribers. So remember... Keep sharing this channel with your friends. But as you guys know, when she got all those followers and she started getting big, that's when she started calling out famous people. And people with a lot of clout on TikTok as well. So yeah, eventually we know what she was trying to do. I figured that out really quick when I noticed she was calling out a lot of famous people. And I knew at that point she was just going after clout. And I mentioned this long ago in my videos. And she also knew by offending a lot of people out there that that would get her even more views because even more people would get angry. They would get angry enough that they would comment and watch her videos because of it. And it looks like that was a big goal of hers. If it was just veganism by itself, then she wouldn't have had to go out of her way to call out famous people to try and get clout. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And remember to check out some of my other videos as well. And remember, smash that subscribe, like, and comment down below. And remember, share this video with all your friends, and I'll see you next time.